everybody. What a glorious day. I tell you, we've still got a fair bit of rain to come, but uh, yeah, my batteries are just awesome. They're getting full before lunch. Um, the hot water was at 56 degrees this morning. So that's all going awesome. Um, I'm just getting ready. Uh, to do some work on the camper trailer, resupply with uh, some of the stuff we've eaten. Um, these are some of just some of the canned goods we take with us: asparagus, baked beans, spaghetti, uh, cream corn, lots of fresh fruit in natural juices. SPC, of course, when we can get it. Um, that's what we eat for breakfast, those fresh fruits and some uh, long life full cream milk, Australian of course. Alright, so, uh, okay, you can see up here we've got this other solar panel, 120 watt solar panel mounted up on the car there on the roof rack it just charges down through there and that keeps both the batteries charged uh, through the controller that we fitted in the back of that box um, just go back to that video and look for it if you want so that's ready we've just got to put the tent on the back um, and Ziggy's old shopping trolley um, yeah, it was just getting too old on its last legs, so we went to the wreckers, I bought her this one, this is her new shopping trolley, yeah, it's pretty flash, it's like new inside and out, it's not new, it's second hand, it's a, uh, what is it, a Honda Accord Euro, and uh, I love the um, stabilisation controller in it. Damn thing corners like it's on rails, I tell you. Anyway, now it's been a well over a month since we've uh, had this plugged in and charged with anything. So we'll quickly check the battery volts uh, while I'm restocking the kitchen. I'll just uh, turn the camera off and uh, unlock it and we'll have a look. There we go, the lid's going up. Like I say, we haven't been in here for a while, so I've got no idea what the batteries are at. They are AGM batteries, and you can leave them sitting for months, and they lose very, very little power. Not like uh, wet lead acids or other batteries. Now, what do I want? I want that big red switch over there on. Uh, I've got to reach in. Okay. Excuse the walking around, but you know, it's how things are done. Let's go over here and check the battery volts. 13.2 volts. That's absolutely beautiful because the solar panel's not turned on. Um, one fellow wanted to see how this was wired. I'm going to try and show it to you, mate. Basically, uh, those switches in that box is the uh, solar panel and the charge controller battery cutoffs that's the uh, charge controller very nice um, Victron very small and I've got the two fuses there one on the positive one on the negative and the disconnect those wires that plug in over there uh, they're permanently plugged in, screwed down there for the uh, angle fridges so they don't lose power when we're driving. Typically we use this one as a fridge and this one as a freezer. I'm pretty impressed with those battery volts. That's awesome. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll um, put the camera down, turn the battery back off again. I don't need to charge it. We'll open up the kitchen and have a look in there. Okay, back door's open. Alright, 
so basically that's what our kitchen looks like um, that's our shower right there wash our smelly bodies when we're out the bush Oops. watch what you're doing there Chris and this is our food containers and basically I want to open this one okay this is our uh, this is always packed it's got noodles, cans, soups um, that's um, just dried potato dead and you just reconstitute it there's another one and we've got this one it's very good to keep the lids on these because it keeps any light out of them that's our rices oil, funnel fruit, there's one fruit left in there Newsly bars. So basically, I'm just going to go through all these, check if anything needs, these out of date or need replacing. And that one's empty. All right. So that's basically the kitchen. All those containers are just slide in and slide out like that. That's not hard. And when the sink's shut, as you can see here, it shuts up hard against those containers and they don't move. Um, and that's me wiring for all my other gear in the camper. Yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. All right, I'm going to get to work. Okay, so that's got... Um, all the kitchen supplies, all the non-perishables non-perishables I call non-perishables with something with a life you know, over two months plus um, in there We've got condiments in that bag over there, food food uh, just in, in, in tins and uh, packet rices and noodles and other stuff in there we've probably got I don't know over a month of food just in there but you know you never know where you're gonna go where you're gonna end up and uh, if there's, there's a um, I don't know if there's a bushfire or like you remember last year when the, the fire was just down the road and we were worried about getting in the creek getting in the creek well you know, if you've got to drive away from your home, at least you've got something. And, uh... To eat, and somewhere to sleep. In the camper tent on the trailer when we put it back on, that's easy to put on. Um... <coughs> you will remember I showed you when we came back from our last trip. I showed you how I do these fridges and freezers with a simple bit of coffee in a cup you're gonna stay open for me probably not but that that fridge smells absolutely great uh, these coffee granules just soak up the moisture as you can see they're still granules so they'll still work I'll still soak it all up the fridge is beautiful and clean no mould and it's got a lovely coffee aroma let's check the freezer <laughs> okay that cup fell over it doesn't really matter as you can see it's still granulated in the in the bottom there so it'll, uh, the absorption of the coffee is still working there's no mould, mildew, and it's got a beautiful coffee aroma. And yeah, these are insulated. But these worked great in here on that trip up north we did, out the desert. 
Um, everyone said, oh, they're going to overheat in there, and no, no, they don't. There's plenty of air in this trailer. Um, and you're not on the road all the time, you know, you're stopping, you're getting your lunch out, and uh, with the solar panel on top, it keeps the heat off the top of the trailer. Uh, it actually stayed quite nice inside the trailer and the fridge and freezer had absolutely no problem they got massive amounts of airflow at the back there so that worked really really good so for those that were concerned about it thanks for the concern but there was no need because like i'd already taken everything into consideration when i put it all together all right Oh, here's my wife, yes, very good. She's bringing the power cord and the um, the power cord and power board that we use. Thanks, just let the up. up. She doesn't want to be on camera this morning. That's the power board we use. It's got a uh, an earth leakage or an RCD built into it, which works. Um, and that's about it That's about it. I think we've just got to add some we, we, we didn't have a small little container of um, dishwashing liquid, so we've got to add that as well We use the um, biodegradable River friendly stuff, you know um, So yeah All right my goodness, we're almost ready to head off again. It won't be long. Like I say, I've got to tape the ute down, put the tent on it. It's currently um, on a stand in the shed. And that's it. Wheel bearings have been done. All the nuts have been checked on the suspension, which is under there. And the suspension's been greased. Um, so it's all ready. Okay, keep safe everyone. That's a bit of an update on the trailer. Diggy's uh, new shopping trolley. And the ute, because the ute's the Mahindra ute is going absolutely beautiful. We did change the front suspension when we got home because the original shock absorbers I found to be too soft and we did bottom it out at the front end a couple of times on the trip um, like I say it's only a two wheel drive it wasn't really built for where we took it but we took it there anyway um, and the Eaton diff lock the automatic Eaton diff lock in the back performed absolutely beautiful going through some of them creeks pulling this trailer and when one back wheel slipped, the other one just kicked in and they both drove us straight out of the Sandy Creeks. Um, it's just awesome, awesome. Mahindra made a, a really good car. Some people think it's as ugly as Sin. Well, you know, it's, to me it looks like an early model Jeep, but anyway, um, I don't think it's ugly, I think it's you know, it's a it's a it's a Ute. It's meant to do a job. It hasn't got all the flash electronics, um, like that thing has. <laughs> but um, you don't need that when you're in the bush. Simple's easy. Anything breaks, it's easy to fix. All right, keep safe, everyone. Bye for now.